Shalom. Shalom. How are you doing, enlightened ones? It's good to be here with you again. Um, I got my wonderful guest here with me one more time because you guys showed a great response. You guys like her maybe even more than me. I like her more than me. <laughs> so look at look at her today. Her beautiful hair and things like that. Hey. So we got together to, um, today to talk about parenting. So that's the topic that we came together and decided to talk about. And I feel I, like the last video was cut short. Right. So I wanted to continue this one with elaborating a little bit more on parenting. Okay. I wrote a few bullet points to, to help us out and help you guys out. You know, I like to give things that you could take not only in, in just parenting, but the leadership skills that you learn in parenting and everything that we um, enlighten you with here, you can take in all walks of your life. I agree. So, so the first part is about kids' innocence. Um, kids' innocence, you're talking about limitations on certain products, certain things, which what's age appropriate, what... Uh, which age appropriate is a big one. Uh, let's talk about age appropriation. Uh, name some of the things that are age appropriate. Uh, what ages? At what age should a child have a cell phone? That's a hot topic. That's the first thing that came to mind. To be honest, see, I'm in her head. You know, I say that's very important because we neglect um, to really realize what we're really handing them. Right. Like nowadays, phones. Um, have access to the internet. It's not like back in the day, a flip phone, or it's just main, just like mainly calling. Call, call and text, right? Right. Although they do still have phones like that. They do? Because yeah. I'm looking for one to give, to, give to, to give to the kids. I mean, yeah, I forgot what they're called, but like they have phones like that, but it's just a phone. I mean, you can get it probably from like Family Dollar or something like okay. that. Okay, so if you know where to get a phone <laughs> or what kind of phone where it just text just and call, call yeah, text and call and, and no it doesn't have any internet. access to internet, come on. I probably want to use that phone too, but you know. Because I feel like you're handing them temptation. You right. know what I mean? Like, Yes, yes, you know, you, you, you teach them well, you raise them right, you tell them right from wrong, you know what I mean? I call it Pandora's box. You, it is. You're, giving, you're putting a universe in their hands. And then, you know, a, like, part of innocence, it's, and then now you even have to tell them, and that, that probably wasn't even in their mind, like, yeah, so. you, and you, like you plant a seed. Right. Of something that they wasn't like, even thinking, don't like do this, don't do this, don't why, go on this um, inappropriate website. Like, inappropriate? This might, what's inappropriate? inappropriate? Right. So that's what that's a big thing about keeping kids um, innocent because yes. you're telling them when you uh, uh, start these conversations, you're you're telling them what they should look out for when when before the fact they wasn't, wasn't even, even looking in their mind. It, it wasn't even in their mind to think about. Yeah, and I think even. And that's, I, I love that you said that because even in conversations, sometimes we feel like they're doing something or they're like their minds are somewhere and it's really not. It's because of our adult experience. Oh, that's big right there. Yeah. That's big right there. So we, I feel like we ought to ask questions. That's right. More. It, it's like, this is a big problem with, with us today as people that we put on other people what we've been through mm. and that person may not may or may not have gone through that same thing and we put everything in and from our perspective and our point of view man a big thing is understand to understand somebody stand to understand somebody even stand your to children understand. yeah speaking of parents like even your children yeah because Give them the benefit of the doubt. Right. You know what I mean? And and really look at them um, greater than what you think that they can, um, that they are at the state. Give you know them the I mean? opportunity yeah. to be able to... Right. Show you who they are, where their That's mind right. is. Because the word said, out of the abundance of their heart, the mouth speaks. So if we really pay attention to their actions, their interests. And what they say. Yeah, and what they say, you can you'll really know understand. You'll know what's in their heart. And yeah. you'll, know, you'll know their character. And you went and put stuff, bef give them stuff that they're not ready to handle. Right, you know because I mean? we can't really put an age on on uh, what age is appropriate for a child to, some, some are earlier, some are later. So we're not even going to try to put an age on yeah, it. Yeah, because I don't think it's an age, it's... It's Knowing that child, child. Right. Knowing it's that the child's child. So, maturity. Um, right. 
the kids' innocence, keeping the kids' innocence. So what's good for one, this is the point that we're going to bring, what's, what's good for That's one good. may not be good for the other. One might be 13 and ready for all the conversations, and one might be seven and ready for all those conversations. But you have to know know the child and yeah, know what, what their need is um, for keeping their innocence. Right, um, so a phone, though, giving them the, like, our kids, our <clears throat> oldest is 13, and they still yeah don't have a phone. Yeah, because it's a big thing because of their upbringing. Um, they weren't, we, we kept them sheltered, you know, and that's important, you know. Um, we kept them sheltered. We didn't let them get into a lot of things. We made sure that they was in books, but we interacted with them. So right. you can't just keep. The, the outside world that they get is inside of us. Right. You know what I mean? And and when we go outside together, they get their experience there. They get their experience in going to public school. Mm-hmm. And, you Speaking know. Speaking of which, my worst nightmare. Speaking, and it's on the same topic. Um, one, of my, one of our oldest children experienced that very thing, very thing that, that like was a nightmare to me. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, you remember, right? Yeah, I so, remember. And I thank God having a um, having a great um, relationship with your children, an open relationship, like um, allowing them to express themselves, and if even if they make a mistake, don't be so hard on them. Yeah, that they'll be comfortable to let you yeah. know, you know, yeah. what they've done. Like, like if some if they do something crazy, like if you see them do something that looks inappropriate. Because we talk about age appropriation and stuff right. like that, right? If they do something that looks inappropriate, don't assume that they did that because they 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 have an inappropriate mindset. Maybe they did that off a of feeling or something that they seen that they, they don't Copy. even remember. Yeah, you know what I mean. So don't don't bring, don't deliver what you just seen from your knowledge. Don't don't deliver it to them because now you you gave them an interest. Now they're curious, like, oh, what was that that they got all excited about? Because right. that was once me. You know, I found out all the craziest stuff that I needed to find out by how my parents responded the to the things that I did. And I didn't even know it was something bad or inappropriate. And, you know, as a child, mischievous, I'm just going to talk about me. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Um, as a child, I'm like, you know, I, I want to do something that makes people tick. You know what I mean? I want to see... You know, what gets me the most attention? You know, young boy, first boy. You know, it's pretty much like the only boy. And so my, my mom decided to have more more children. You know, you want all the attention. It's a fight between, you know, you and everybody else. So go back on with the, the experience. So, you know, my child came to me. And again, I mentioned, I thank God that we do have an open, you know, um, relationship to where he felt like he can tell me anything. Right. And I learned that, you know, um, they were outside in the gym and the children at that school were allowed to have phones. Right. Like they were allowed Which to even have it schools. on them. Right. Yeah. And um, showed, showed my child something inappropriate. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, an adult scene on... And he was like... He looked and he went... Yo, and I'm just like, and I look, cause we 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 seek to see the truth, right? Mm-hmm. When we listen, but I seek to to see the truth, and his reaction, what it did. Now that his, you know, is a new, different information and stuff right, like that. Right. And so, I look, but it was still the same. It was just, and I'm like, who? All right. And so I'm like, okay. So you know, asking questions according to it. And I thank God that because I focus so much on. How you know, he felt about the experience, yeah. or what he experienced, instead even before of that, the problem. Not even that. I thank God that he was just um, brought up in the right way, in the word, and brought up with morals, and brought up with respect and stuff like that. Like it's very yeah. important, you know, because it. Um, he knew it was inappropriate. You know what right. I'm saying? And he knew it was wrong. And he said, and he told, you know, he told he was like, I don't ah, think you should be so watching good. that. He said that he was like, I don't think you should be watching it. That's not right. That's so good. Like I was like, wow. Man, a lot of the children who get these devices in their hand or or uh reach these adult sites, they don't even know that um what they're looking at at first. You know what I mean? They like like what I said, 
they just do it for the response at first. But then, you know, they're feeding it, feeding it, feeding it, feeding it, and it grows into something else, you yeah, know? Yeah, it's so sad. And I'm like, man. And, but, you know, I told him at that instant, like, you know what? I felt like God felt like you was mature enough to minister to him. Right. You know what I mean? Like that's what we're here on yeah, earth like, for. Look, to, look to for the help opportunity each other, exactly. to be a light to enlighten others. Because we have to give that. Like a lot of times, we don't give great perspective or a positive. You know what I mean? Outlook on something that was uncomfortable. That's right. You know, we keep the negative, and so I just killed that and was like, "Wow, that was that was an opportunity." You know what I mean? To me, he was like, "Wow, you right." You know what I said? But it's okay because that was your first time something like that. Right. You know what I mean? So now he can, you know, go into He knows it. that his mission is when he sees something, you know, you know, um, he can help somebody out of a situation. It's right. not like something that uh, you have to participate in yes. or, you know, because you're the same age. But at the same time, I think he showed me that. Like right. he had that mannerism at that age and it was... It was comforting for me. Right. You know what I mean? I'm like... So, it's definitely age appropriation is about teaching your kids the right thing. Don't assume. Don't don't try to teach them um, something too early. You know, um, the, the right time, the right age, they I would you say. Know. Yeah. It's they the age you know. that they, they let when you they, know that, hey... Yeah, because you can tell when yeah. they have interest in certain things. Right. You know, they mood change. They, you know, their conversation right. is different. You know what I noticed? If you have, you know, more than one child, like you have, you know, children and you, they speak amongst themselves, they don't really pay attention that their parents are around. So the volume, like it's not low or, you know what I'm saying? It's not right. too low. And so you can kind of like, you know, get a gist of where they are right. when they talk amongst themselves. That's right. So that's, that's a, right. like a cool key, you know, thing. So, so, parenting. so we spoke about kids in a sense, uh-huh. talk about age appropriation, um, Kids keeping their innocence is, you know, bringing things to them when when they are ready for it. You mm-hmm. know, um, don't be afraid to allow them to make mistakes. You know, because how do we learn the fastest? By and don't be afraid mistakes? to say no. Right. I, I've met a lot of uh, parents that were afraid to say no because they felt like the child wouldn't like them. But we're not here. Like you didn't become a parent for your child. The goal wasn't for your child to like you. That's right. Like, and I know many may not understand or feel, you know, different, but it's the truth. Like, because at the end of the day, you know, um, I want I want you to be the best you. Right. So it's gonna take for me to say no to certain things because right. you're not ready. Your um, your um, your attention span. Right. You don't know how to level that out with certain things. I like You know that. what I mean? Or keeping priority. Nose you know were I mean? good for me. Because no is good for any type of growth. Why? Because one, you learn how to go around no's. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> if you're really looking for a yes, you'll keep going. Right. You'll keep going at it. Right. And then you, it's you like create, a builder. You're building. Right. Yeah. Then you create the opportunity for, for the kids to ask the question why. And then right. you can explain it to them, which gives them that fulfillment. Back in the days when I was coming up. You said up, something. Yeah. That, that, Ooh, that's what I'm touching on right now. Yes. Back in the days when I was coming up, my, cat, my, my parents would say, no, um, because I said so, so because I'm the parent. Now mm-hmm. that leaves me confused. So, you know, like, I, I think, my, in my opinion, right. that it, it's a bad thing when you just tell them, because I said so. You know, you don't have to explain everything. Right, but if, right. you can, if you can't have to um, explain something. Before they you grow. Know, because it's not, it's, 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 for it's them a to reason learn why more. you said no. There is a reason why. And right. it's.